So we have the V jump scans for Doken Battle, and it, this is the first time in a long time since they are actually, you know, showing new information. Previously in V jump scans, as of recently, they've been showing just like what is currently on. But now we are getting new information in the form of Golden Freezer. So a lot of people were speculating that we weren't going to get Golden Freezer and we're just going to jump straight into the superhero stuff. But it looks like we are going to get a legendary banner with a Golden Freezer as the featured LR. As you can see from the little LR symbol on the right there. So here is his arts, the SSR to TUR to LR. Of course, um, this is going to be like Resurrection F Freezer. So he's going to have similar links and categories to that and uh super excited about that don't know any more details because obviously i can't read all of this i don't know what the heck that says and i'm not bothering to myself to translate that once we have like full details of course there's going to probably be a data download either after the world tournament or during the world tournament not too sure yet um we will have like his details and translations and stuff and we'll see if he is worth to summon or not remember the gold banners have gotten that like recent update where they're actually really decent to summon on but um with superhero tanabata stuff like that coming around the corner it is most likely that a lot of people are going to skip on this guy uh hopefully he's still good though maybe i can use him as a friend leader of some sort but uh yeah we are getting other easy a's as well um during this little part of the i guess part two of the celebration as you can see from the right here, we have the EZA for Golden Freezer and Sorbet, which I'm super excited for because they're not too bad of a card. Obviously, they've aged quite a bit, and of course, they have some of their problems because of Sorbet. But still, like the passive and stuff is actually very solid. So I cannot wait to see that. I can do some speculations in a bit, but we'll get into that really soon. Uh, I just want to finalize this V jump scan with the EZAs for the Super Saiyan Blue Vegetas. Um, that is awesome. Hopefully, they become, like, uh, redstone units. I don't think they're bluestone units or anything like that, so maybe we'll see them as redstone units in the future. But, uh, yeah, these three will have an easy A and probably will need uh, Golden Freezer easy A medals. I don't even know what medals you would need for in order to awaken these guys, but it's definitely, like, a um, pre-existing easy A for sure. But anyway, let's jump into Golden Freezer and Sorbet. Um, because I'm a free-to-play content creator, that's the only thing we're going to focus on today. And that is uh, what he's potentially going to be. Of course, the leader skill is pretty obvious. Join Forces 77, tech for 50%. I don't think the high chance is going to change at all. But I think he's going to get something in before. Like maybe raise defense would be awesome. I think they would do something like raise defense because he, he's more like... Um, he gets a lot of stuff when he like is in the first slot like in he like performs a critical hit and stuns the attacked enemy within the same turn after receiving an attack so they're gonna make him like very awkward i can i can see it like very awkward to the point where um he raises defense and then on super so that he at least is good in like after super but then like very fragile in the uh first slot before the attacks perform he has already like a really good attack and defense i don't think it's going to raise too much maybe like 150 and then uh, i think recently they've been having like all of these restrictions so um something to do with like uh like king cole where you verse like pure saints or like realm of gods or something like that and you get an additional attack and defense plus 50 percent it's something like that right uh i don't think this changes at all uh, there's not much you can change from this. There's no point in going higher than 6 key anyway. So I think critical, stun the attack, and that is pretty good. Uh, the reduction in damage. I hope that the this, at least the HP restrictions, a little bit higher. Actually, at least one of these HP restrictions need to go. Hopefully the attack and defense is gone, the, this restriction. So then they always have attack and defense plus something. Um, when Even when your HP is below 49%, they, they can keep this. Honestly, it'd be fine, but um, yeah, one of these restrictions has to go either one, <laughs> and I doubt it will be the damage reduction one. They might increase the damage reduction, who knows? Uh, does this change anything for free-to-play? I don't think so. Uh, maybe if it is a really good damage reduction unit, you might make, uh, they might be able to fit into like a Ginyu Force team, because they do have terrifying conquerors, so maybe that is helpful for red zone, we'll see. Uh, just like DKP, he can fit into the Ginyu Force team because he has damage reduction and he's a terrifying conqueror. Um, join forces, I don't think he um, 
even though he has he's the leader for it, not really worth the final trump card. I guess for Super Battle Road, the ESBR will eventually come by. Um, this guy might be helpful. And then Battle of Wits, which uh, I don't even remember like if he can even fit in it. I don't think so. Like, There's not much extreme representation, as you can see. So yeah, it would be pretty hard to definitely build around him in the Battle of Wits team. So I think uh, Terrifying Conquerors, final trump card for the ESBR, because he does have that guaranteed stun, which can actually be very handy. And of course, the high chance of stunning the enemy. That's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully, guys did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like. Did you know if you click on the like button, there's actually a special animation that plays when you click that like button. So make sure you click on the like button, subscribe, comment down below, all that good stuff. Are you excited for this Golden Freezer? What are your expectations for him? And what do you think he's going to lead if it doesn't say already? Because I haven't translated this. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Until the next one, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.